uh, greeting YouTube, Captain Machine again. Uh, I apologise to my small group of subscribers and those well wishers uh, about the lack of videos. I've been quite busy at the moment with my new job, so uh, with the training almost done now, I should be back to normal relatively soon. Uh, plus, when I say back to normal, I mean that my shift pattern will comprise of letting me have more days off because I work to compensate. I work longer days, so. Some days I'll be dead to the world, and other days I'll be happy and joyful because I have uh, time off. Right, but uh, as the title indicates above, this is another update. And also another getting to know me, getting to know you scenario type thing. Um, I did do a hint teaser video, uh, which is a spur of the moment giggle thing, about zombies. Um, I've suddenly realised that writing one, doing one video about zombies is going to be very, very difficult to do. Uh, because there's so much ground to cover, there's a lot of information to absorb and in all fairness, I don't actually know that much about it. I thought I did, until I actually de delved more deep into it. Um, some of the movies are terrible, some of the comics are crap. Um, the board games tend to be nice though, which is a bit weird, and the books. The books I, I hear are hit and miss, I've only read so much. In fact, I've just finished World War Z. There you go. I highly recommend you get that. Uh, it's written by the same guy who wrote The Zombie Survival Guide, which I waved in front of the camera previously. And this basically is a follow on to that. Because um, in the back of The Zombie Survival Guide, not to be too much of a spoiler, there is a list of outbreaks throughout history. And as you go more and more towards the present day, you get more and more common, until eventually becoming incredibly common. Um, and that's basically the, the precursor to this, which is. A review, well, it's not a review, sorry, it's a, an oral accounting of zombie wars. Basically, what that means is that a guy from the UN or whatever has gone around the world and interviewed people from all over the world about what they did during the zombie wars, which is basically where the zombies rise up to the point where they were all over the place, all over the planet. And uh, this guy really thinks about some new stuff. Um, Max Brooks. He has a couple of ideas about zombies, and he, uh, I'll explain it more in my video next. Uh, he invents some really f good rules, which are vaguely Romero-esque. Again, that's another term I'm going to describe in my next zombie video, or hopefully, maybe. And he does a very good job of expanding on that. But, on top of that, uh, I currently have, I don't know if you can see this here. An Empire Army. Now I have bitched and whined about Games Workshop, and I feel it's with good cause, and good reason to. Uh, but most importantly, um, I don't like Warm Forty Thousand anymore. I think it's too dumbed down. I think the ease of which you can perform certain maneuvers over others is ridiculous. I think charging headlong into cannon fire shouldn't be as easy as what it is. Ooh, that's gonna break. Um, like if I ever went back to do it again, I'd probably make an orc army or a corn army or a space wolf army, it's something close combat. Because despite the fact that it's the future and guns are prevalent, um, it seems that all the close combat armies do the best. Hmm. But no, Warhammer is actually quite good. Um, I am currently on sabbatical at the moment from a war game I'm running on Saturday nights, based in Stirland. And my army I'm going to be making for the Empire is going to be a Stirland army. Little box sets over here. They just need assembly. So I'll let, give you an update on that when I can be asked. What else? Um, oh, yes. I've just finished writing a manuscript for an adventure. Call through adventure. Which, fingers crossed, if it's accepted, will appear sometime in the future in a Chaosium monograph as part of the Victorian England source book, as it were. Now, just give you a bit of a book date on that one. Um, those of you who know anything about Call of Cthulhu know there's something called Cthulhu by Gaslight, which is basically 1890s Cthulhu. Now, the core rule book accounts for that, um, but you can't buy, and there is no plan to reprint Cthulhu by Gaslight, not to my knowledge anyway. Uh, which means that you have to track it down off eBay or second places or 
you have to make do with the monographs which will be coming out. Now, hopefully what the people who write the monographs for guess what we're doing is make sure they don't tread on each other's toes. Because if I have to buy the same information two or three times, I'm not going to be best happy. Um, oh, I bought a Wii. Uh, I've been downloading a lot of retro gaming. Uh, so I've been downloading like uh, Castlevania 4, Cybernator, eSWAT, Mario Bros. 1 and 3, because 2 is crap. Um, Zelda Link to the Past, which is funny because I've been playing that more than Twilight Princess. Probably because of the annoying starting quests. I mean, truly annoying. Um, what else did I download? Uh, oh, Super Metroid. Because I used to love Super Metroid. And I plan to pick up a second classic controller and get some two player games about like um, Pro Protector, or as the Americans call it, and the uh, Japanese, Contra. Uh, Soft Super Contra, Super Contra 3, I think it was. Uh, we never got that. Contra was never a thing that the UK got. We got Pro Protector, which was Contra, but with robots, which is a bit weird. There you go. So that's it. Oh, yes, I do apologise. I keep forgetting. This is what happens when you don't actually write down a checklist what you're supposed to be talking about. Uh, I did promise I'd be uploading some triples videos. They'll be coming right after this. Uh, I'm just going to edit them down to a chunkable format. Um, and I'll give them a proper intro by talking on camera again. Right, so I'm going to call it quits there. Because I still have yet to get any decent editing software. So trying to keep all my videos under 10 minutes is the best part. Okay.